With politics now, a campaign 2016, both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are making their closing arguments, if you will, to voters late into the night. After a bruising campaign, it all comes down to the turnout tomorrow in several key battleground states, and that's where the campaigns are focused tonight. KCONI political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the closing messages from both of those candidates. And they are still at it at this yeah. hour, if you can believe it. Like you said, midnight on the East Coast, still going. All day and night, the candidates left no stone unturned in looking for late votes. And even at this hour, midnight on the East Coast, both candidates are still at it. Donald Trump is rallying his supporters in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And Hillary Clinton is wrapping up her campaign in Raleigh, North Carolina, where she's being joined by Lady Gaga and John Bon Jovi. Before a huge election eve crowd in Philadelphia, musical stars John Bon Jovi and Bruce Springsteen played for Hillary Clinton at a get out the vote rally, with all eyes focused on Pennsylvania and other battleground states. So you're scared and you're thinking that maybe we ain't that young anymore. Let's all do our part so we can look back on 2016 and say we stood with Hillary Clinton on the right side of history. That's why I'm standing here. And when the music stopped, the appeals to voters rang out. But here's the thing about Hillary. She doesn't complain. She doesn't buckle. She brushes it off. Like the American people, she is strong and tough. Tomorrow, we have the chance to elect someone who is singularly qualified to be our president our friend Hillary Clinton. In these last hours, we need your help knocking on doors and making phone calls, helping to turn people out, maybe helping people who need assistance to get to the polls. Because none of us, none of us want to wake up on Wednesday morning and wish we had done more. The Monday night Clinton rally drew the largest crowd of the campaign for her. And although there were no musical stars at Donald Trump's late night rally in Manchester, New Hampshire, he also drew big crowds in a half dozen battleground state stops as well. I'm asking you to dream big because with your vote, we are just one day away from the change you've been waiting for your entire life. To all of the people in all of our cities and towns, I say these words to you tonight. I am with you. I will fight for you, and I will win for you. Earlier in Florida, Trump warned his supporters, don't blame him if he loses, and it's now or never. This is it, folks. We will never have another opportunity. Not in four years, not in eight years. It'll be over. This is it. This is it. Good luck. Get out there. I did my thing. I mean, I worked. In fact, one of the few light moments for Trump on Monday was when he brought on stage a Halloween mask of himself. Nice set of hair, I'll say that. And at Trump's last stop of the night in Michigan as the clock neared midnight, controversial rocker Ted Nugent played for the crowd in support of Trump in a state he'd like to flip to red. Is this enough real Michigan? to take Michigan out of the blue and into the red for Donald Trump. Real Michigan deer hunters in Fred Bear country in the winter water wonderland to stand up for what we believe in. And at her late rally in Philly, Hillary Clinton expressed some regrets about the campaign, sort of. We have to bridge the divides in our country. I regret deeply how angry the tone of the campaign became. Not your fault. <laughs> Well, the big turnout in early voting is now reaching historic proportions, topping 40 million by some estimates. That could mean a heavy turnout at the polls on Election Day as well, or with so many early voters and mail-in voters, it could take some of the pressure off the Election Day uh, polling places. But. Guys, I wouldn't count on it. Right. Well, now that the campaign <laughs> yeah. is you know finally over, what's yeah. what's the prospect for election day tomorrow? 
Well, actually, there's there's some real worry about it, to tell you the truth. Uh, let me say that uh, there's a headline in the uh, online edition of the Washington Post tonight, officials brace for chaotic day of voting. And in keeping with the tone of the campaign, they may be right. The fear is there will be long lines and possibly heated disputes uh, if there are attempts to intimidate voters. Donald Trump has called for his supporters to stake out polling places watching for voter fraud. He has not suggested they intimidate or use force against any voters. But if everyone's waiting in long lines for hours and patience is growing thin, frustration is building, there certainly could be some problems, Lena.